A Splash Party, Please definitely has a lot to offer. This is the 23rd episode of the first season of Barney and Friends. And this one wasn't very nostalgic for me. In fact, I don't think I recognised many of the songs at all. But I really enjoyed the educational aspect. Most of it focuses on manners, please and thank you. But they're also having a picnic and then a splash party. So it's engaging while also being educational. So as always, I will go through the various songs and the, the opportunities for learning. As I've mentioned before, I'm re-watching Barney for two reasons. One is the nostalgia. This one wasn't very nostalgic. And two, I love to see how educational it is. And it definitely is very educational. The children in this one include Derek, Michael, Tina and Min. And Baby Bop also features at one point as well. So the songs we start off with Taking Turns, which is not a song from my childhood, or at least one that I can remember, but in re-watching Barney, I have come to like that song. I rather like it. And then Swinging Up to the Stars, which I didn't love. It's not a bad song, but it's just not that interesting. And then we have, of course, Please and Thank You. And it's a very cleverly written song and definitely helps to say that the magic words are please and thank you. And the characters do say please and thank you quite a lot in this episode. So it's great, not just that we're getting this education through song, but we're also seeing it in real time. We're seeing how the children actually use please and thank you, which I think is really beneficial. And then they're having a picnic and they're singing about snacking on healthy food. And there's a little bit of listening because they're listening to the sounds of crunching apples and crackers and celery, which is disgusting. I hate celery so much, but... In the episode, it works really well and can definitely get children paying more attention to their senses and what the sounds of food are like, which I think is a really great way to get children to eat food they don't want to eat, to make it a game, and this is certainly something that's done here. We then have a couple more songs, uh, I Try to Be Polite and Good Manners, which have some really great messages, of course. However, they're not songs that are familiar to me. I don't remember ever having heard them before. And then we have Does Your Chewing Gum Lose Its Flavor, which is a, a silly song about sticking your gum on the bedpost and eating it in the morning or chewing it in the morning, which is uh, revolting. But it's all about chewing gum with manners because, let's face it, chewing gum in people's faces is not the politest thing to do, but there are ways that you can do it. And then they take the bubbles of bubble gum and move on to bath bubbles. And we have Splashing in the Bath and Three Little Fishes. Both are, are really good songs, but not ones that are nostalgic. Interestingly for me, there's not one nostalgic song in this entire episode, which is so strange for me with Barney. But there was something that I, I kind of vaguely remembered. And I don't know if I'm remembering it from this episode or if it's just something similar to what I did as a child, but it's when they're doing the experiment to see how many jugs of water will make the duck rise to the top of the bowl. And there was a faint memory there, and I don't know if I'm remembering it from this episode. I imagine I would have done very similar experiments as a child. In fact, I probably would have done that very thing had I seen this episode. So that was that was quite sweet and... Again, it, it's something that children can try at home. And this is one of the great things about Barney is that whenever the children do anything practical, whether it's eating food or playing a game or making something out of crafts, recyclable materials, it's usually something that young viewers at home can replicate in some way. And I think that that's really fantastic. Uh, and this is absolutely no exception with the various activities here. So I didn't mind it. I thought A Splash Party Please was a pretty good episode. It had a lot to offer. It covered a lot of ground. It gave a lot of different examples about manners and being polite. And what I also loved is that there was one point, and I can't remember when this was mentioned, but... They were saying that manners are good for other people, but they're good for you too. And they made out the fact that being polite is good for you as a person, not just good for the person you're being polite to. And I'd never really thought of it that way. And I, I rather enjoyed that. I thought that was a nice way of looking at it, making sure that manners are beneficial for the individual being polite. And I just it was just a different perspective that I'd never thought of. So that was pretty good. Definitely a really great episode. It might not be nostalgic for me, but nevertheless, a splash party please is really enjoyable.